Hey guys, what's up? It's Vitality here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a masking transition. It's going to be just like this one. And um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do it, right? So basically, you want to take your first clip and you want to make a couple more video layers going down and um, I usually bring my audio all the way down to the bottom because you don't really need it at the moment <clears throat> and then you want to take your other clip that you want to transition to right so you want to find a good steady pace not a pace you want to find a good steady frame where it's not too much motion and it's not too blurry so you're gonna split it and save the file there. You can save it as whatever the hell you want. And then it saves there. So you can go ahead and delete that first part that you don't want. So the second step, well, first you should crop out this crap right here. Just a little bit. And then that looks about right. And what I like to do is right when I die, I want to slow it down. Or maybe right after the clip ends, that's where I'll slow it down. And that's where the transition is going to start. So I'm going to go to properties, I mean not properties, you're going to go to insert remove envelope, velocity. And right where you want it to start slowing down, right about there. Double click, a little bit, double click, bring the velocity down a little bit. And then you want to go up, go to the, you want to drag your picture in, that this is very important, size it down a lot and you want to crop it right go to mask use this tool and you want to mask out what you want to transition in first like a puzzle kind of so you just do like a little rough a little rough outline of what you want to transition into the first part and um, you really want to do it really detailed and for the purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to do it that detailed but when you actually do whatever you're trying to edit you want to make it nice and detailed right? so when you go to the video preview you see that it's pretty rough and it's all rough and disgusting so you want to go to event pan crop feather type both and set I set it to two I think those are pretty good settings and it looks a little bit nicer and it won't really make that much of a difference when the video is going by because it's a pretty quick transition so what I typically do is I split it and I bring the opacity down that way you can't see this clip right here and right where it's starting to right where your guy starts to die right about there that's where the transition starts so you find that and you drag this over and you put a transition right there and maybe you can put a really nice transition like I do this I use squeeze up and that will give it the effect that it's kind of coming out of the floor see like that it makes that then if you want to get depends on how many parts of the puzzle you can call it that you want to come in you can drag it in another one and you can do it again this way go to mask and maybe you want to mask out these little these buildings in the background do a really you can use the zoom tool to your advantage I suggest that you do and then you just do that and you crop out that part so you go to video preview and you bring it up where is it you bring it over here you see that right there see that's where it's gonna start so you do the same thing you split it bring the opacity down of this and right where this one ends is where you want the next one to start and you can adjust how long it you want it to be you can go to your transitions and make it anything you want anything that you think is cool um, I guess for this, I might, I might use, I, I don't know what I might use, I might use this, 
So let's see what we got here so far. Goes like that. Goes like that. Okay, good. So we're looking good so far. Now you want to bring in the final piece of the thing, of the video picture. Bring the last one in. Drag this down more. And bring this one underneath. Do the same thing. Split. Bring the opacity down. And put the transition in. And this, now that that's going in there, the other piece comes out and then the last piece fades in. So right as you want it, it finishes the transition right there. Okay, so go a little bit farther and bring all of them to your cursor. And drag your video there. And there you go. So now you got this. And then your next clip starts. So that's all you basically need to know about that transition, and it works out pretty good. And then after that, you can just go into your video effects and give it a nice little color correction. Um, I set a couple ones. Just drag it on your clips. Uh, saturation adjust, COD 4. I have drag on ones, but you should really take your time when you do it. Um, make it different ones depending on different maps it looks better but for the purpose of this I have set up ones brightness and contrast COD 4 and when you're doing the transition you have to drag it on the clip that's being transitioned to or the, the photo the photo that you took you have to put the, put it on also because if you don't see it it's still over the original photo so you have to put the exact same color correction onto the next one that it's gonna be color correction to see now if you go down you can see that the first clip goes like that but then that the second one and the third one don't have the color correction in it you could do that if you wanted to for maybe some kind of cool effect but I would recommend that you put the color correction on those also And then the last one. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's uh, play it from the beginning and see how it looks. It might get a little laggy when you're previewing it. But it's basically, that's basically it. And... Then you're done guys, so good luck with your whatever you're trying to edit.